Hi, I'm Alex Aaron, a technician at Seek Alarm, and today we'll be reviewing the basic programming of our SK1323 and 2323 series keypads. Welcome to our instructional video, and we are glad you're here. In this video, we will begin by going over the following. Basic programming and advanced programming. Please see the description below to skip to the desired location in this video. The keypad has a master code and a user code. The master code is used to get into programming while the user code is used to trigger the output. Default master code for the keypad is 1234. Master codes cannot be used as a user code and vice versa. Code length is from two to six digits. User IDs are from 000 to 999 for a thousand users on output one and from 00 to 09 for 10 users on output 2. Basic programming. Basic programming covers the following. How to enter programming mode. Adjusting the master code length. Changing the default master code. Entering a user code for output 1 and output 2. How to enter programming mode. Enter programming mode by inserting the default master code, which is 1234 twice. The right LED will change from green to orange to indicate that the keypad is now in programming mode. Adjusting the master code length. The default code length is four digits. The keypad supports code lengths from two to six digits. If you would like to change the code length to six digits, press star 904, then six. To change the code length back to four digits, press star 904, then four. Changing the master code. To change the default master code, press star three, followed by your new master code twice. In this example, 9876 is used. A long beep will indicate the new master code is accepted. To exit programming, press pound pound. Now that you are out of programming, test the new master code that you just assigned. In this example, we used code 9876 twice. Entering a user code. Now that we have changed the default master code, we will begin to add user codes that are assigned to user IDs. Enter programming by pressing the newly assigned master code 9876 twice. To enter a user code for output 1, first type in the user ID 000, followed by the desired four-digit user code. In this example, user code 1357 is used. To enter a user code for output 2, type in star 400, followed by 2468 to set the code for output 2. To exit programming, press pound pound. Advanced programming. Advanced programming covers the following. How to adjust the output time, how to enter proximity cards, and how to reset the keypad. How to adjust output time. To increase the output time, the default is one second of output one. Start by entering the master code twice to enter programming. In this example, master code 9876 is used. To increase the output time, of output one, use star one, followed by the desired amount of time. In this example, we want five seconds, so input star 105, which sets the output time of output one to five seconds. To change the output mode of output number two, input star five. Normally, output two is used as a hold open or toggle mode, which is input zero zero. Enter star five zero zero to change output two to a hold open toggle mode. To exit programming, press pound pound. To test the new output time for output one, in this example, user code 1357 is used. The adjusted output time will be five seconds. Testing the output time for output two, in this example, user code 2468 is used. The adjusted output time will stay triggered until the code is re-entered. To enter proximity cards, enter the master code twice to enter programming. In, the, in this example, master code 9876 is used. 
The next user ID would be 001, then swipe the proximity card. A beep will indicate that the proximity card is accepted. Followed by the next user ID, 002, then swipe the proximity card. A beep will indicate that the proximity card is accepted. To exit programming, press pound pound. Now to test the proximity cards to check if they properly trigger output one. Reset, how to remove user codes. To clear user code, once in programming, type in star 888 to clear all previous user codes and proximity cards. How to factory reset. If you need to reset the keypad to default factory settings, input star 899. Both LEDs will go orange followed by a beep sound. Indicate the keypad is now set to factory default. If you ever lose your master code, power down the keypad and hold down the pound key as the keypad powers up. If the default master code does not work, the code lengths could have been adjusted. Try entering sequential codes from two to six digits. For example, one, two, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, and so on. This has been the basic programming video for the SK1323 and SK2323 series keypads from Seek Alarm. We thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.